welcome to HRP. In this video, I am going to explain about the last part of chapter 2, part 2 images in HTML. In HTML, we use IMZ tag to insert an image, and it is an empty tag. Empty tag means it has only opening tag, it does not have the closing. IMZ tag has this following attributes src. It defines the source of the image means the name of the image or the location of the image which I am going to insert and height it's defined the height of the image wide it's defined the height of the image then uh, border it defined the border of the image and uh, align it sets the position of the image in align we can set two values either left or right or and these properties we can also use with uh, CSS except the SRC height width border these properties we can also use with CSS now let's try to insert an image at first we have to download one image which I am going to insert on to the web page I have already downloaded this image rows you can see and if you want to see the type of the image or format of the image you will go to the properties and there you will get type of the file there it's jpg means your image name will be rose dot, uh, dot jpg now let's open notepad here we'll write the first line of the document that is doc type html after that uh, we'll write head and after head we'll write sorry We'll write HTML, the root element of the page. After that, head, then title. Title will give us inserting image. After that, we'll close the title. Now, we will write the CSS. Style type text oblique css and at present we will give only the whole page color so we will write body then bracket bg color or sorry background color background color and we can give any color let it be yellow semicolon bracket close now suppose at present i don't want to give any more style so style will be close now we'll close also head here because my title and styling part is finished now we'll start body and suppose at top of the page i want to write images of rows so we can write it here h1 align center images or image of rows after that we'll close the h1 now we'll go to the next line here we'll write the img tag img src here i will write the name of the image and remember the image should be located at the same folder or directory if your image is not located in same folder then you have to give the exact location of the image like uh, if your image is located in d drive then d, d uh, slash the folder name slash the image name etc so better you copy the or move the image to the same folder where you are saving your HTML doc document. 
so src will write rows dot html after that we'll write height equal 400 and wide equal 400 after that we have one more attribute that I have not discussed before alt if for some reason the image does not load then whatever we like write inside alt that will be displayed suppose it is rows I am writing here it is very useful when your image is not loaded on the page the user will have some idea what you are adding on the page now we'll close the body then we'll close the HTML command HTML tag now we'll save the page we'll go to file save as we'll give the file name as image dot html and save now we'll go to the desktop i have saved the page on desktop that is image and we'll open it you can see here it directly came rows <coughs> it can room rows and one broken image i think i have not tried to wrote the name perfectly that's why it, the alternate text appear here here I have to write rows.jpg but I wrote .html that's why it does not appear and whatever I wrote inside alt that appear on the page. Now I will cut the html part instead of html I'll give jpg and save it. Now let's reload. You can see the rows picture is here. Now this height and width part we can also give in CSS. Now remember while we give the size in CSS then what happened whatever image we insert in the page all the image will be of same size. So if we want particular image in different size we can write individually. Now suppose I want to give it in CSS only. So we will write it here image and inside bracket height suppose it is a uh, 300 px then wide four hundred px now bracket will be closed now save the page and let's reload and see the difference the size does not appear ok it appeared because I have to write there IMG only now if I want to give a border around the image then I can do that after height and white I can write one more line that is border border then I will write the thickness of the border suppose 2 pixels then solid solid means the style of the border and the color name suppose the color is here red now let's see the difference go to the page and reload it you can see one red color border around the image now if you want rounded corner border then you can give one more thing that is border radius here you will write border border radius then pixels how many pixels you want suppose 10 pixels 10 px now save the page and go to the output or browser now reload it you can see the corners is a bit rounded and if you want little more rounded then you can increase the number 
we can give it 30 pixels now let's reload the page you can see now clearly the rounded borders and if you want to set the position of the image you can write it here align align and you can write it whatever you want suppose it is middle align middle it middle does not work here right So here align attribute is uh, not working. I will tell you later how to use this, how to change the position of the image by using CSS. Now let's write the align attribute in the tag only. Align equal, suppose I am writing middle. Now save the page and go to the browser and reload it. So the image move to the right hand side and if by default it is left only so if you don't write the align attribute it will appear on left hand side so this way you can insert image to your web page you can also change the direction and <clears throat> in next video we are going to discuss the question answers of chapter 2 part 2 and if you have any confusion about list tables or images you can write in comment section thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye